الحمد لله رب العالمين صلاة وسلام على رسوله الكريم وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده ولا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا ما بعد فنسأل الله تبارك وتعالى أن يكتب لنا حسناتنا ميزاننا في الدنيا والآخرة نسأل الله to write for us a great reward in this life and hereafter on our scales for what we accomplish today by his help and his mercy in the sixth day of Ramadan now we're in the seventh night of Ramadan when the Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam died somebody said eight? yes, the eighth when the eighth night? the eighth night Today is the seventh day. For week. Hey, Asif, correction. We are in the seventh day of Ramadan. We are in the seventh day. We finished the seventh on the eighth night. So tomorrow is the eighth day of Sakam Allah. And this is um, the... Um, what day of April is this? April the what? April 8th. April 8th. So we're 8 and 8. We're neck and neck. April the 8th, 2022. The 8th night of Ramadan, 1443. Friday night, what they will say, Leila Tisept. Friday night. This is important because we're going to talk about the issue of the Salat of Times Square. And many people had a lot of things to say about it. And my friend, as I mentioned before, the Sheikh Abu Aliya, who was the right the battle, was a convert like me, who was Imam in Aimati Qatar, fi Doha. And he wrote a small treatise on this issue. And he called me maybe like three different times during the day to get me to listen to it, to tell him if it's okay or not. And that's a humbling position for me, being that he's Imam in Doha and my contemporary. But he didn't reach me. So he said, Fajr came, he made this Dukhar, he said, Bismillah, Tawakal Allah. He put it out. And of course, he caught flag, but it's important to talk about this issue because, as we mentioned, with regards to the Asma or Sifat of Allah, the names and attributes of Allah, they are what's called taqifiyya. Meaning you have to have the evidence. If we don't have the evidence from the book of Allah and the Quran and the dream, that's the first point of evidence, kitab Allah. Then the pure sunnah of the Prophet. And Allah has made it where he has protected the Quran, but he has put it upon the ulama of Islam, past and present, to protect the Sunnah. And that's why you have the science of Hadith that really stems from the Quran. Every science, every knowledge, every department, Asluhu fi kitabillah is from the Book of Allah. Even ilm al Quran, ilm al Hadith, wakada, wakada. Hatta al Lugah, al Lugat, wa al Khat, wa al Imla, wa Balaga these different sciences of the Arabic language, penmanship, how the letter should be, the issue of conveying something in a poetic way, nahu, how the sentence changes, sarf, how the structure of the word changes, ilan ma'an, how the word has a special uh, meaning. All of this from the Quran. Yeah. So it's important. Likewise, the first point the Sheikh he made in his treaties is that ibadah is tawqifiyya. You have to have an evidence for your ibadah. If not, it will be like the Jews, Nasara, like this man mentioned today, you know, there's no difference in America between religions. Uh, 
of a kalam daughter, even if it makes some people feel good and happy. La akhir. Al din al Islam, yani yani a'la al jamia. This is what Allah Azza wa Jal decreed. This is what He mentioned. We have to believe that. If somebody's scared of that, then we're gonna have to be rude and conveying that. But how do we who doesn't believe Islam is a'la? Allahumma astam. A qadshay, yani, oh, miskeen jiddin, is very poor in this understanding. That's the least we can say. Because if not, every deen will be accepted by Allah. Is every deen accepted by Allah? No. You guys sound afraid. Is every deen accepted by Allah? No. The deen of Allah is the Islam. Exactly, my Allah. But that's not what I ask you. Because somebody can say that. The deen with Allah is Islam, but then turn around and say that all deens are accepted by Allah. Is every deen accepted by Allah? No, it's not accepted. Guys, it's uh, I'm afraid, man. I wish I could see our faces, man. It's almost uh, Every deen is not equal in Allah in the face of Allah. And they know it. That's why they're constantly trying to water down Islam doing these things against Islam and the mic is going out, maybe the gents are here and said, put the short in the mic, they know it too. And so the first thing is that ibadah has two conditions. Any ibadah has to be, what's the first condition? Come on man, y'all Muslim, y'all don't know this? Nah. That of course you're a Muslim, you have to be a Muslim, but be, be after that. Yes. What is the surah Fuhu Allah What's his nickname? Surah to what? Ikhlas. Ikhlas. Now, Ikhlas. Has to be pure. You can't make shirk and bid'ah and kufr. Now, it has to be pure. And you have to do it for Allah. You can't do it to show off and to please people. And the second they say, Matabaa to follow the way of the Prophet in that worship. He was sent to teach us how to worship. If not, can we pray Fajr five rakah? No. No. I feel good today I'm going to pray uh, um, 10 rakah. Can we do that? No, no you can't. Why? Because it's already set, right? Yeah. Set by the Prophet. So, so that's the first point that our Imam Sheikh Abu Ali, he brought that the ibadah totally fiya. It is. The second point he mentioned as it relates to the Tarawih, very important. All of the scholars, and what he did, he went back, of course, to, you know, and, he, uh, and, and this is the Tarati, believe it or not. We go back to ourselves when you have an issue. So you go back to the Prophet first. Dhamma, Yani, Khulafa Rashidin, Yani, four great. Khalifa and the ulama of the tabi'in of the, of the of the companions, pardon me, besides them, Ibn Abbas, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, Abu Sayyid al Qudri, Abdullah ibn Umar, Abu Huraira, you go back to Aisha to Rabbi Allah, Anha, these are the ulama of the Sahaba. We just mentioned some. Then you go to who? After them, down the line. Tabin, Mujahid, Tawus ibn Qaysan, Yan Ikrama, Haulai, Yani, Ulama, Fulla, from the Tabin, Thumma Itaba, and the heart, and those Yani Itaba Tabin. Then after them, it's almost the same generation you go to the four great what? Four great Imams. Because guess what? They're from Asala. Mm -hmm. Abu Hanifa, Bin Norman. Imam Malik, Ibn Anas, Imam Shafi, and Yani Mada, Ahmad bin Hamad. They're from Asala. This is what Sheikh Islam to me. So you go back to them first and see what those four great Imams said, what positions they took. Shabu Ali, he did that, and he found nobody after the Prophet, the, the four Khulafa, uh, he added Abdullah ibn uh, 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 Aziz. And who some say he's the fifth Khalifa, the great grandson of Umar bin al Khattab, the four Imams, all the way down, Sheikh Islam Tumir, keep going. Nobody from myself ever prayed Tawih in the Musallah. 
Somebody said, well, we could pray the salat outside in the musalla. Lakin muqayyid. Muqayyid bimada he dain the taught he prayer. Wa qusuf the eclipse. Wa istisqa prayer for rain. Now, Prophet Sallallahu prayed that for Khulafa Rashidin, for Imams, for them after them, outside the Musallah. Amma al Tarawih, for the Wahid Minhum, in that Min Dalik is Azmina, in an An. Nobody did it in the Musallah. It's the first time. Why? Because Al Ibadah Tahtaj al Dilir. In Kana Yani Muqayyid. Oh, yani mada al muqassas is particular or is restricted. Tahtaj ila dili. It's the first thing. Second thing, they said, well, the Prophet Sallam he said in the authentic hadith, in the majuila al art mashtidin li ummati li al mashtin wa So the Prophet Sallam said, and you can't get to the masjid. Then it's not like the other nations you have to pray in the place of worship. No, Allah made, yani, for this ummah, one of the special things you can stop and pray wherever you need to pray. In five daily prayer. But the Prophet in that narration also said, Aina ma yudrik, yani, for Sunday, any place you find, pray. But the Prophet, he restricted it. In the narration, he said, Illa mada. Hamam wa maqbara, except the place where you relieve yourself in the graveyard. So you see restriction. It's not just any place. And then the Prophet Sallam he also prohibit. We could talk about we mentioned in the Qudba. When they traveled one time. They slept, they got up to pray, they overslept the fajr. They were tired. The Prophet Sallam called for water, they made wudu, and then he said, move. Don't pray in the place where the shayateen. Where the devils, so the devils were here. You know, it's an open spot, you know, and he said the Shia King were here. Don't pray here, move to another spot. So, what some of these texts the Sheikh he brought to show that it's not just we pray anywhere. Yani, and because many people, that's what they said, oh, he's being strict, oh, come on, you can pray outside. No, so we'll take it, restrict it. And if Someone was going to make a tarawih in the musalla or outside in the place. If it was khayr, if it was from the deen, guess who would be the story? The Prophet of the Sahaba. You have not one narration they did that. Also, from amongst the different types of salat, categories of salat, we wind them down, Shaykh Tabarakul wa Ta'ala, you have Sha'a'ir al-Islam, Sha'a'ir al-Islam. Meaning it shows a sign of the religion. It's something that's a special thing to show the mind of al-Islam. Like for example, the lihya, yani the niqab, the adhan, ta'id prayer. These are things that the ulama said, these are from the Sha'a'ir al-Islam. They're the special things to show the izzah of Islam, the strength of Islam. But Tarawih is not in that category. All of the ulama said, lace them in Sha'a'ir or Islam. It's not. It's in a special category, but it's not Sha'a'ir or Islam. Yeah, and when you go and you read the books of it, you'll find Qusuf, yeah, the Eclipse, you find Istisqa, yeah, you find the Salat, Eidain, and the books with the ruling, the Prophet did it out. And it's what's from the things that yeah, you have to do. But Tarawih, everybody knows, it's Mustahab. Some might say Sunan Mu'akkida, but yeah, I need this for you. The Yukarabil Allah Tabaraku wa Ta'ala. So even that Salah is in a different category. As far as the amount, then we talked about that as well, how it went up to maybe 39, 43, and some of the generations people would pray that much. More than just 20 if you rock out. Some went to 39, some went to 43, different you know, uh, um, uh, years and, and the time rulers they would add. And you know, because of Salam again, he said by twos, by twos. And if you add something to two, it's going to be odd. So it's open. But we shouldn't say 23. Umar prayed 23. We, we don't have no text for that. Even the scholars of Hadith said this, Maldu'a, they say that 
Om Ahmed al Khattab, pray 23. Pray. Then you go to the issue of yani, Babakal al Fikum, um, the issue of al Khushur, praying and having Khushur. It's another issue. The Prophet prohibit that you pray in the places that have uh, uh, statues, pray in churches. And, and most scholars say this macro meaning if you have no other choice, then it's still very detested. But Prophet Sallallahu said, don't do it. Don't play in, don't pray in the places, yeah, in the Qubat filth. So I ask you, because I can't see. I said, what is it like, Times Square? When they described to me, I said, so pan, I was blown away. This room, I can't see. You see what I'm saying? So that issue, yeah, and, it, and you can't put so far, like Shakey said, there's no way to put so far on that. People walking the dogs, it's that. Not most of them. And then the last thing they said, the da'wah. This was done to show the unity of Islam, da'wah. We understand a lot about what Al-Majr could have is to be the Adru in Allah, Allah Basir. Say, this is my path, the path of Allah and Muhammad. I'm calling to it, Allah Basir. Basir, the ulama is an in. <coughs> Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala said, وَمِنْ أَحْسَنْ مِنْ مَنْ قَالَ وَمِنْ أَحْسَنْ مِنْ مَنْ دَعَى إِلَى اللَّهِ دَعَى بِالْقَوْلِ سَانِ إِلَى اللَّهِ وَعَمِلُ الصَّالِحَانِ Thus righteous deeds. وَقَالَ إِنَّنِي مَادَى مِنَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ From the Muslims. So even that claim that was da'wa, had that kalam, they say sahih, da'wa bil-lisan, wa bi-qalam. I So these issues will lie in. Lastly, you find the activists, the Muslim activists, the people, politicians. They're, they're pushing this stuff. Allah Mustaqbal. And Allah Tabarak wa Taala mentioned, yani, the Hayyuna. Allah. They try not only to change the deen of the people, but they try to change the creation. But making all of this bid'ah and all of these allowances, and the Muslim are falling into it because, wallahi, we don't understand the deen. And lastly, some people said that riyahu, showing off. Even you make hajj, you make umrah. Imagine I'm making tawaf and I'm filming, look, y'all, I'm making the tawaf. Oh, I'm making such that I've got the camera on the wall. I mean, yeah, somebody could argue it's for dawah, but really, like, that's ibadah. You see, really, it's, yeah, I mean, you're stretching it. You're stretching it when you talk about this issue. And really, the seller didn't look at dawah in this way. They looked at dawah and animada in the way that the Prophet mentioned it and the way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned it. So, in conclusion, he wanted me to give some comment on it. He thinks that high of me. He knows I'm on the ground here. But Wallahi, Yani, you left me sooner ala nas. This is a trick for the people of Wallahi. I mean, this is something Allah most on. Although it looks good, it's not good. Some would even understand it to be from the ulama bid'ah because we took an action none of the Salaf did, none of the people of the past did. Take the tarawih outside to a musalla, and I don't even know if we can call that a musalla. Times Square, they dropped the ball. Who knows, lastly, what the New Year's that we have on the Gregorian calendar stands for? Anybody? January the 1st, New Year's. What does that stand for? Anybody know? New Year. Yes, that's a New Year. <laughs> Anybody else? Yeah, before Christ and after Christ. So oh. they, they pretended that it's the birth of Risa. The New Year, not Christmas, New Year. January the 1st, when they dropped this ball at the Times Square. That's Christmas. We we're talking about New Year. They do this at the Times Square, the ball. Anybody know? Quickly. No, Nobody know. Inshallah, that's your research, inshallah. But I guarantee you, when you go and check what is the origin of New Year's, January 1st, you're going to be amazed. And believe me, it has some shirk involved in it, like Halloween, all of these things. Most of the holidays in America, 
rooted in some type of paganism. Yeah. Subhanallah. So, Allah most high. May Allah pardon us for much of what we do. People have good intention. The lack of the deen. Yani, deen. Mebani. Ala kitab Allah. Sunti Rasul Sallam. And the most important thing, your ibadah, tawfiq fiya. You have to have the deal. You can't just worship and do anything. Allah most high. Rasul subhanahu wa ta'ala to correct our faith. To make us from amongst the righteous. Rasul subhanahu wa ta'ala to bring us back to the deen. Rasul jamila in a good way and a beautiful return. Rasul subhanahu wa ta'ala to pardon us for our mistakes, forgive us for our ignorance, to increase the knowledge of the man and make us see the truth as truth and to treat the falsehood as falsehood. Allah most Alhamdulillah, we suffer with the fear of your patience. So, 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 so,